are Exceptionnel. We're a, a breakdance duet from Bristol. Um, we both are in the health and fitness industry as well. So we've come together to do a lot of work within that area and we teach, we perform worldwide, we do a lot of projects. Um, I'm a personal trainer, Olivia. Um, so I work as a soft tissue therapist. Um, so my focus has been kind of uh, working with dancers particularly because of my involvement with hip hop and breaking and uh, I have a background in gymnastics, obviously had a lot of injuries over the years. Um, so that kind of led to my interest uh, with kind of injuries and how to treat and manage them. Um, and some of the problems I found was um, going to see specialists, physios and things who didn't really have an understanding of um, the type of dance I was doing or gymnastics. So often the, you know, the, the advice was kind of just, right, we just, best thing is just to stop. You know, it's like, well, no, that's not really gonna help me progress. You know, I still have a career <laughs> to, to pursue. Um, so that, yeah, like I said, led to getting into the whole injury side of thing and finding ways to manage my body and treat people. Um, to help with longevity um, and also provide that understanding um, for people that I think people kind of feel that they lack when they try and go and see someone about their injuries. Yeah, um, for yeah. me, I started a long time ago when everything was very pure, freestyle, no teachers. We just get in, we get on the floor, we get in the street, we break. And I wanted to be taken seriously in hip hop. So I wanted to show that I can be powerful, I can be strong, but how am I gonna do that? And a lot of people that I met along the way were like, your hips are too big for this. You know, your boobs are going to get in the way of your babies. Like I had these things where I was like, oh, is that going to stop me? What am I going to do? I want to be taken seriously in this game. Luckily, I got picked up by Zulu Nation and toured for two years. So I got a real understanding of hip hop and its culture. And from there, that gave me the passion to be like, I want to be a force to be reckoned with, especially in my city and then worldwide. And then um, someone came to me and said, do you have a, a female? A female group that you can put to our show is one of my agents in Spain and that's when I contacted Olivia I knew she was really strong and she came from a gymnastic background and this show they wanted flips they wanted trips they wanted all those crazy stuff that a lot of people associated with the, the men at my time so I you know we got together and started training luckily with her background and my background we've managed to fuse in a way that has really helped us like when Olivia first came she was very gymnastic oriented and had a few injuries and I was a lot of it was over, yeah, over, over training from the from the gymnastics and the explosive training without that um, sort of learning how to stabilize and functional training that was my specialism and the barrier I found now is coming back to the UK I teach a class um, for breaking advanced breaking intermediate and the guys that were advanced that came from old school they did never take part in my class they never did the conditioning I do half an hour conditioning half an hour breaking and the question was like, but that's not breaking, you're not breaking, why are you doing that? That's not hip hop. Like my music was like a bit more intense because I needed that pace to, to get the heart rate up. And they, they were just kind of looking at it and scouring like, is that pure though? But for me it's like, of course this is pure because I'm gonna make me the strongest I can be and you guys the strongest you can be to be the best in what you're doing without getting injury. So why is that not pure? So that's my question. Now, luckily, they all do it. All the events do it. All the b-boys do it. They're like, okay, I can see it's working. Let, let me do it. Because they tried what? it. And yeah, they tried it and they died. They were like, struggled. oh my God, how is it so hard? And you're a girl. Yes, I yeah. am, but it's hard. So we want to, the question is, do you think it's pure to be so structured in functional training? Or is that not good in hip hop? Do you think that it should just be, we should go out and freestyle and train and practice a windmill just for a windmill? Or can we have more structure? Or is that not pure? Yeah, okay. so like what are the barriers to people yeah, taking that step to actually look after themselves mm. and like ego versus, yeah, you know, I think it's especially in breaking and hip hop and with guys as a kind of macho thing, mm. I'm strong, I can just do I it, don't throw yourselves that. into yeah. it. So that's something we've kind of tried to battle with because we have that knowledge as well in the sort of fitness and how to kind of train. So that's what mm. we've tried to push out a bit to people, but it's not always straightforward. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>